Today, I will be showing you how to set up your free DDNS account for the first time to use with your Platinum DVR or NVR system. First, go to ns1.dvrlists.com. Since this is your first time signing up, you will be needing to register first. Click here on the registration on the left. Now, fill in your information. Choose your email address. Enter your password. Re-enter your password to confirm. Fill out your first name and last name. Now you have to choose any of the following security questions. Then answer it here. Click on Submit when you're done. Once finished, it will take you to the second page where you can choose your host domain name for your system. Now, I am going to choose a host domain name for my NVR system. Create a unique domain name. Click on Request Domain Name once finished. This is what you will be using. The status says it is enabled, but the last update says it's not yet updated. Once you are done signing up, go to your NVR. We will use the information provided earlier to fill in the information on the NVR or DVR and test it. Go to the interface of the NVR or DVR. Click on Menu on the bottom left corner. Click on Configuration, slide to the right, then click on Network. Under Network, you will see the DDNS tab up top. Click on it. First, enable the DDNS feature by clicking the empty white box. The DDNS type will be LTS. The server address will be ns1.dvrlists.com. This is set by default and it can be left alone. Next, the device domain name is the host domain name that you have chosen on the website when you registered. Enter your domain name here. Now the username was the username you used to register for the first time. Enter your username, which is your email address here. Again, the password was the password that you used to register for the first time. Go ahead and confirm it by typing it again. Make sure all the information is filled out correctly. If you look below, click on Test. We need to test the information to see if it's filled in correctly. It may take some time. So if it says Test Succeeded, it means the information we entered was correct. If there is an error message, it means one of the information fields that was entered above was incorrect. Just correct the field that is incorrect. Then click on Test again. Once finished, click on Apply. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to set up your free DDNS account. See you next time.